second gear. <laughs> da, 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 da. Right. I'll be there for yeah. you. TSUTigers.com here with Whitney Ennis and Casey Cox for Senior Sit Down. And uh, ladies, uh, we just got done <laughs> playing uh, some games against uh, uh, a couple of OVC opponents. So you started OVC play and then you stepped out and played Middle Tennessee in midweek. Kind of talk about the, uh, the last few days. We did. The last few days have been pretty hectic just because anytime you have a schedule change so quickly like that, uh, just kind of throws you off a little bit, but we're used to it. Yep. We're used to, you know, making quick turnarounds, so. Being a student athlete's all about. Wasn't anything we haven't been through before. Right. <laughs> so, kind of talk about just the way it changed, you know, it changed. Uh, obviously, you moved up games on Middle Tennessee was supposed to be on Wednesday, then it got pushed up to Tuesday, so it's a quick turnaround. Um, and mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, even this weekend, Moorhead State was supposed to travel on Thursday to play on Friday, but now it's going to be travel on Friday to play on Saturday. Right. It just, uh, it definitely made this week a little tiresome only having like a one day break in between the game. But, I mean, like I said, that's what being a student athlete's all about. I think that we were, we were excited to play on Friday. We were able to get the weekend off. But now that we're playing on Saturday, we, we have a little bit more time to switch gears and get our mindset on playing on Saturday rather than Friday. So it definitely helps that it, we get a little bit of time to do that. Well, you guys, um, you know, obviously the middle middle of the year, we're already just past the halfway mark. And during that time, a lot of times through the season, you guys run into injuries, illnesses, and so on. And actually, you guys have been facing quite a bit of that. Kind of, you know, talk about how you guys have dealt with some of that. Yeah, any time that you have a, a long season, like softball, you know, um, it just happens. Every season that I've played, it's happened. You just have injuries. Um Unfortunately, this year we've had a little bit uh, more, more than that. Yeah, <laughs> more. But you know, it's just how how the balls rolled, and we've we've dealt with it though. We've had some key players step up um, in positions that they're not uh, used to. So it's been it was kind of fun. Like on the bus ride down to MTSU, they're like count off, and we got to seventeen. We're like, wow, on this earth, we're at seventeen, 17 players. players <laughs> yeah, usually we're at like fourteen. Yeah, so. that was kind of funny. Okay, well, um, kind of. Uh, if you can, you know, talk about, uh, you know, some of the play. One of the biggest things that's been happening right now is, you know, your outfielders have actually been coming through with some plays at the play, yeah. throwing, you know, and uh, sure. Ariel Johnson throwing someone out at first base. You know, kind of exciting getting those plays. And Whitney, you were actually a part of one of the throwouts at home. You know, what, what's it like getting a ball from the outfield and being able to tag a runner for? Oh, it's so sport. fun. I think it brings the energy up the team. I think uh, just being able to just like cheer on that outfitter because they work so hard to get those throws. So like we work out a lot on cuts. So like just being able to get that relay, even if there's no cut in the middle, like down to a, an actual out and putting it all together is very, very exciting. Sure. And one of the neat things about it too, it's not all the same person. It's like you actually right. have three different people with three right. different assists. Yeah. And being able to have outfielders that all can do that, that definitely helps uh, just the, the motivation of the game and just putting getting everyone more excited and it's fixed. Okay. So now what are some of the things that you guys look for for the rest of conference play? We're definitely going to look forward to making more adjustments. Um, I think the first two games we were a little laxed on um, making in-game adjustments, but we were working really hard on practice on being able to hit different pitches and um, different counts. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how our team is going to adjust better in the games to come. All right. And like we, we've only played four, so obviously our goal is to go up from here, um, get some some conference wins under our belt and just continue to grow as the season comes to an end, for sure. Okay. So, uh, you know, has, has there been anything lately that has really just lightened the mood for the team and just kind of, you know, things that you guys can laugh about or joke about or any any good stories? Any? <laughs> um, when, we, when we were playing at MTSU this past uh, Tuesday, um, we kind of have a infield shift where uh, me and Sarah kind of play deeper and more um, in the middle a little bit. And <laughs> I told Katie that when I'm, I move over a little bit, she should come over a little bit off first. And um, I didn't know that in Little League, 
when you have an extra player and you put them behind second base that they're called a rover. <laughs> I had no idea. And she said, well, I didn't know you were going to be playing rover out here. And like she said it and like everybody just started dying laughing. I had no idea that you called them rovers. But <laughs> it was funny because I literally was playing like five steps off second base. Um, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. Whitney, any, uh, any good stories of light? None that I can think of, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I think we always have a have a good laugh out there. I know whenever I go, me and my pitchers have our own little, little inside jokes. So we like to make light of situations and just, those are our little uh, pitcher catcher meetings when I go out there. It's just, it's for us, but it's fun. <laughs> okay, well, good. Well, ladies, we appreciate your time today. We wish you the best of luck this weekend. Hopefully the rain stays away. We've been lucky this year with the rain staying away, so hopefully it'll happen again. You just jinxed it. <laughs> well, it has to happen sometime, but uh, <laughs> ladies, we definitely appreciate your time. Thank you again. And, uh, Roll Tigers. Thank you.